כוח את היער, כוח את היער ושע, הרפל את היער והשם יער ושע, והשם יקרא כדש. יער בן עיניהם אל הרב נפרד, יער ושע בן עיניהם אל הרב נפרד, יער ושע בן עיניהם אל הרב נפרד, And this one is, um, when that dollar drop, all hell will break loose in America. And you see this BRIC summit with these other nations, they coming against um, Babylon the Great uh, through the economic aspect. And all of this is Bible prophecy uh, with these great nations who rise up. and come against Babylon. Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah, he talked about it. Let's get that real quick. That's a quick hit on these other nations coming against Babylon and great America. Jeremiah 50 and 9, it says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the North country. So assembly of great nations was going to come up against Babylon. Go to Revelation 17 and 16. It says, and the ten horns, look at verse 12. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings. So verse 16 again, and the ten horns which you saw upon the beast, which is ten kings, ten nations, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Who is the whore? And the woman which you saw is the great city which reign over the kings of the earth. See that American dollar is a global dollar. And it's reigning over the kings of the earth. Every nation has to have an a American banking account so they can trade and barter with that American dollar. You see? So all these nations depend on America, on that American dollar. That's why they're reigning over the kings of the earth economically. So to come against that, you got to deal with the money. This is what the BRICS is doing. And that, that's going to start off with the money and it's going to end in the violent interaction. Verse 10 in Zephaniah 1, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that there shall be a, the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hill. That's that dollar, that global dollar crashing. How ye inhabitants of Mektash For all the merchant people are cut down all that they all they that bear silver are cut off. See that money is gonna be worthless. And the merchants is gonna um be cut off. Look at Revelation 18 with Rama 11th verse. It says, uh, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys their merchandise anymore. Because Babylon the Great is known for trading with that American dollar and bringing in all types of um, items from the other nations due to the nation of Israel not having uh, any land and any... Um, pretty much community. So they got to um, pretty much be all total consumers. So the, the nation of Israel being total consumers, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, being total consumers worth uh, trillions of dollars. So they, America, get a lot of trade and uh, exports and imports due to that situation. because they got to supply the Israelites with everything they need because the Israelites can have their own businesses and they can't have uh, their own land. So um, where is it? Um, let's see here. Let me get Ezekiel 17 because it talks about it in Ezekiel 17 too. Um, just to get to the point in verse 4, it says, 
but he cropped off the top of the young twigs. These young twigs is those 18 year old male slaves that they was throwing on a slave ship and carried it into a land of traffic, a land of traffic when you're doing transaction, uh, exports and imports of goods here in Babylon and Great America. He said it in a city of merchants. See, this is a city you got a, a store on every corner. You got all kind of corporations and businesses trying to uh, supply the Israelites mainly and um, pretty much do business. Shopping malls, flea markets, you got all kind of business going on in, in the cities. Um, let's see here, what else I want to get. Um, Jeremiah 50, 50 and 33. It says, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. See, they, the black Hispanics, Native Americans are oppressed together. You got Native Americans on the reservation. You got the Hispanics uh, jumping the border trying to get into the country and get slaved in these uh, great, great orchards and uh, these fields um, like the, um, the, the, the tribe where the northern, the southern kingdom was getting slaved in the fields. Now it's mainly the northern kingdom that's coming to America. And then um, you got the Negroes uh, who've been here for the longest. Um, they all together, they say, and all that took them captives, held them fast, and refused to let them go. So this is what's going to pretty much be the breaking point when that dollar drop, and they ain't supplying the people um, with what they need the people are going to rebel and it's going to be an all out war in Babylon the Great. Let me get um, Zephaniah, Zechariah, what is it, 9 11? Nope. 9 and 13 and say, when I bent Judah for me, when I have bent Judah for me, fill the bowl with Ephraim, raise up your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. So the Lord going to raise them up. Them Negroes, the Spanish and Native Americans who realize that they've been sold a bag of goods and they still in slavery, depending on the so-called white man, and he not giving them what they need, they going to rebel against him, and it's going to be an all-out war in Babylon the Great. Uh, here in verse uh, 8, Michael 5 and 8, is saying, the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles. See, they're going to be among these so-called Edomites and Arabs and Ishmaelites, the, the uh, Chinese, the Moabites, the um, East Indians, Elam, here in Babylon the Great, the Edomites, the so-called white man, they're going to be in the mix of them, among them. It says, And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest. See, that lion, when he go in that forest, he is kicking everybody's behind. It says, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. So these other nations, they're going to be like sheep. That's like you put a, uh, like in wrestling or in, in one of these cage battle uh, fights. You put a Negro like Shaquille O'Neal or LeBron James in the ring. You throw a China man. You throw an uh, East Indian man. You throw a, a short hair like African and you throw a, a so-called white man in there, in an Arab, he's going to beat them people to death, man. See, they ain't going to have a chance. They say, who is he? You say, who, if he go through, 
both tread down and tear into pieces, and none can deliver. See, he's going to be kicking behind. When, when that day come, and they, they economic situation drop, and these Negroes see that they ain't got no way out, and, and, and the people trying to kill them, they going to be fighting. When, when a cat get when a cat to get cornered in with the back against the wall, that's his time to fight. And the, the, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are that cat. They are that lion that's going, when he's back it to the wall, he going to be ready to fight. And he going to be ripping through these during other nations. And so they already know it. That's why they got a uh, um, King Alfred plan and they got all kind of plans of insurrection of the citizens rising up against the government because they really uh, speaking in some, with semantics because they know the Negro is going to be the main, the, the Blacks and the Spanish and Native Americans going to be the main one fighting against the government and the establishment. Like they've been doing every time something go on, they riot and, and tap up everybody's stuff. So this is what um, they've been afraid of. But when that dollar drop, it ain't going to be no holding it back. See, you're going to have to have your military on the scene already waiting, but they'll never do it because the prophecy show that it's going to be a major war and they're going to rise up and kick behind Let's get the last one. I'm ending on this one. Um, Isaiah 13 and 15. Well, I'm start at 14 and say, It shall be as a chase roe and as a sheep that no man take it up. See, that's what these other nations are going to be when the nation of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men rise up and start kicking behind. They shall... Every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. See, everyone that these um, Negroes catch, they're going to kill them. And everyone that is joined unto them, see, if you got one of these house Negroes, one of these coon traders, they're going to get dusted off right along with their slave masters. Everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the edge of the sword. So when that dollar drop, man, it's all hell is going to break loose. And they trying to implement it November the 1st. Um, and it should be in the play in January the 1st. So this is right around the corner. And it could go down at any time. If they even implement it early, it can go down. So this is what the prophecy is showing, and this is where we at now. When that dollar drop, they're gonna try to implement the uh, digital dollar and try to start putting that mark of Satan on everybody to try to give people the last chance to depend on a man when they should get on their knees and depending on God and what He can give them. And so they're gonna make most of them gonna make the decision. You go get that thing stuck in their hand and stuck in their head and be some damn cyborg and go into the um, total recall imaginary uh, futuristic world and they're going to get burned up with the rest of them when uh, those ten kings burn Babylon the Great. But I'm going to leave it there. I'll praise to you. How about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? Don't want to tell us pushing the truth. Peace to thee, like worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.